Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Rick Tone, and today I got some big Xbox news. All right, so today with Xbox, um, it just reported that xCloud is uh, now widely available to, to everyone. Well, everyone with um, iOS and PC, right? So they just dropped this news today um, off of Twitter, right? Starting today, xCloud Gaming is running on custom Xbox Series X hardware and available to all Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members with Windows 10 PCs and Apple phones and tablets via browser across 22 countries nice well awesome well for me i um it's working on the mac i'm using safari and i'm using the chrome browser it it does work so i guess my findings aren't fully supported but um they do work but um for me the performance is um it's not as good as stadia this is in beta though so it's not as good some games are on par. I played Outriders, but Outriders is not optimized on anywhere really, except next gen and PC. So that's kind of like I don't really put too much stock in that. But I played Destiny 2. It plays okay. Like it, it plays okay for me. I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm not hardwired, so you don't have to take this as like a like a definite like you know test or anything like that. Um, but f but it's just my findings like as a consumer so i mean just me at home i usually can throw anything at stadium and it runs but um it it's kind of like it's better than luna though i gotta say it's crazy from from when i use luna i don't know if luna upgraded but yeah xcloud is definitely better than luna so far but um there's a lot of positives um you can play a lot of games especially games that are um have a high downloads have a lot of gigabytes right you could just play them on the cloud um i don't necessarily necessarily think i would do anything serious but if you have an xbox you're in that ecosystem you're on vacation or you're in another room um i think it's i think it's great i think it hits that sweet spot like you can get some gaming in but but it doesn't it doesn't make you feel like whoa i don't need an xbox you know you kind of want that a dedicated system like stadia you kind of forget about needing a system you're like whoa it's magic but this one you're like you know if if possible you just want to get back to the machine but um it is a beta so i'm not you know but for what it is right now it's it's really impressive um i love the ui um it's really cool you just come in it says cloud gaming beta and it has all that stuff it's it's reminiscent to like the xbox but just like a different skin to it um it looks pretty cool and it's it's like the jump back in um part is really good because i'm like well i had these games but because of storage i deleted a lot of these but just knowing that these are um these are here for you anytime i mean it's pretty cool um but hey leaving soon not all of them are there outer worlds leaving soon um what's it called why what's it called uh monster hunter world leaving soon yeah so so there are there are little caveats to it the game path but it, it's cool either overall but i really think this is um this is really a game pass move i don't think it's like someone's gonna not get an xbox series x or something i think this is a game pass move like you got it's just another reason to keep game pass ultimate where you know it, it bolsters it bolsters um all the other features that 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 um game pass has already i think it's pretty cool guys um what do you guys think you guys think this is huge you think this is gonna be the end for other cloud gaming thing or you know all those hot takes but um but overall it's not too bad though it's really not too bad all right guys this is a rick tone i'm out